Greetings, YouTube. The healthcare debate is going swimmingly. People on both sides are screaming and yelling at each other on a daily basis. President Obama is going to be in my state this week, and the people are already preparing to protest his visit. This astounds me. The current state of affairs in America is pretty much run by the doctors and the insurance companies. These two groups have put together a funding pool. They have sunk $250 million into bribing politicians to keep the status quo in our health care system going strong. A quarter billion dollars to prevent 46 million Americans from having health care and for guaranteeing that 18,000 of our fellow citizens will die this year because they don't have health care. If they had taken that quarter billion dollars and used it to pay for the health care of those 46 million people, you could spend $5 million a piece on each person who is currently not covered, which frankly would be a much better use of that quarter billion dollars. So don't let a politician tell you that they're trying to preserve the best medical system in the world because they're lying to you. Follow the Benjamins. See where the money's coming from. See where the money's going. It's coming from the insurance company. It's coming from the doctor's lobbyists. It's going into the pockets of politicians who are being bought. At this point in America, politicians should just have little price tags on their foreheads. It would make it so much easier for the lobbyists to know which ones are bargains. And I'm talking about the Democrats and the Republicans. The only thing is the Republicans are shameless about it. The Democrats occasionally act guilty. We need a single-payer health care system, like every other industrialized nation in the world. Americans system is the worst there is. Not sort of the worst. Not somewhere at middle on the list. It's at the bottom. Of any industrialized nation, we have the worst health care system there is, and it's the most expensive. It costs more than all the other ones, and yet it's the crappiest. If we were smart, we would emulate France, which has quite possibly the best health care system for a single-payer system. But even if we were to adopt the British system, which is flawed, or even the Canadian system, which is flawed, we would be doing better than we are now. There are no Canadians that aren't covered by health care. From cradle to grave, every single Canadian is covered for their entire life for everything. And no, they're not flooding them uh, the, 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 across the border to come here to get medical help. There are situations where they come here because we have more specialists than Canada does. And guess what? The Canadian system pays for that. Simply because we're a bigger country. Surprise, we have more specialists. You get to choose your own doctor in Canada. Your doctor chooses your specialist just like your doctor does now. Yes, there's a wait for specialists in Canada. Could be as long as three to four months. Guess what? In America, there's a wait to get to a specialist. And if you can get to see a specialist in less than three months, it's a friggin' miracle. The Canadian system is superior to ours. Canadians don't worry that, they're, it's gonna, that their medical conditions are going to wipe out their family's ability to go to school, buy a home, and keep their car, or not lose their job. Americans are in the worst situation here, and yet the, there are politicians, most of which are Republican, I'm sorry to say, who are hammering a, this point home again and again that we can't change the system because somehow it's socialist. Guess what, folks? We need this change. Because if we don't get it, it's going to cripple our nation. By 2040, a third of our, our gross national product will be consumed by, by a medical system if we don't fix it now. So don't listen to the politicians. Look where the money's coming from. Look where the money's going. Look 
who is suffering in this nation. It's not the politicians, folks. Those 46 million people that don't have health care coverage, none of them work for Congress. We need to get this fixed. Obama was on the right track. He's just not pushing hard enough. We need a single-payer system, not this watered-down crap that's probably going to pass in the near future. I'm going to really try today to remember to put a link below this video because it leads to a site that answers the questions about health care with actual facts. Not the, not the rhetoric that the Republicans are throwing at the American people, but actual data. So tell your politicians, save American lives, get a single-payer system. The only problem is people like me who want the single-payer system don't have a quarter billion dollars to bribe our politicians.